Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're just pretty much doing a chit chat, get ready with me. Nothing too serious, nothing too formal. It's not really a tutorial, but everything that I use today will be linked down in the description box in case I don't mention anything and you guys are curious. But hey, if you guys are new to this channel, I don't always do chit chat, get ready with me videos. This channel is mainly about makeup for oily skin. So if you guys like playing with makeup but have oily skin, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of foundation reviews that I have done on my channel and then like just kind of like a little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of skincare. So yeah, if that is your jam, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get started with this video. Okay, let's get started. I'm just spraying my face with this. You guys know that already. And I'm going to put the CeraVe SPF Moisturizing Lotion. This one is like a really good SPF. I know some of you guys were asking if it like breaks me out or anything like that. And it doesn't. So really look into this one because it's really good. Lightweight. It doesn't feel too greasy. Or... It doesn't feel greasy at all, actually. Today, I'm going to use the CoverGirl foundation, the new one, the True Blend Matte Made foundation. I think this shade's going to work. This is in the shade Golden Amber, which might have been a little too dark when I first tried it out. But I think it'll work today. I'm just going to apply it with the foundation and then I'll blend it out. I'm going to do like a thin layer because I am going to work. I'm only working three hours today. <laughs> but... I'm going to go shopping afterwards and I wanted to put some makeup on. Yeah, this shade's going to work. The golden amber. I wanted to do a chit chat get ready me with me because I feel like I've been doing a lot of foundation reviews. Oh, by the way, this is the Juno & Co um, sponge. This sponge is like so, so bouncy. But anyways, I wanted to do a like chick chat get ready with me. It's been a while since I've done these and just sit down and just, you know, do my makeup with you guys. I feel like I've been doing a lot of foundation reviews and although those are fun, sometimes when something gets too repetitive, I get easily bored. So this is how we're going to break things up. So what is new with you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Me, for example, we're going to Las Vegas in about a week and a half and I'm so excited because it's my first time in Las Vegas. I've never been and I am so beyond excited. So if you guys have been there and want to let me know like what to do, what not to do, please let me know in the comment section because I absolutely have no clue what to expect. I mean I have some kind of clue but so yeah, let me know, like, I mean, all I've heard is like, you'll see a lot of crazies out there, if you like gambling, obviously, um, it's a good place to gamble, which we do love gambling, and my boyfriend love to gamble, so we're definitely going to do that. I think we're staying in the Treasure Island uh, Hotel, so we're going to... Hopefully that's a good one. Again, I don't know. I was just booking things on a whim. Um, it was, I think, between that one and the Luxor that I was looking at. So we ended up going with the Treasure Island. So we'll be there. I think it's going to be a weekend. So I know some people said, oh, you shouldn't travel on the weekend when it comes to Vegas because everything's packed. But whatever. I'm going to put this for concealer under my eyes. If you guys haven't seen this video... When I review these items, I'll put it up above so you guys can check it out. This concealer was probably my favorite of the bunch. Oh my goodness. This concealer is like amazing. Like the way it wears is just flawless. It doesn't really crease on my eyes, which is very rare for a concealer. And the color is great. It's just great all around. <laughs> Um, I've been trying to fix my audio because somebody said that my audio was bad and I've known that. Um, but what do you guys think about my audio? Is it really that bad? I know it's a little echoey. The room that I'm in is, I, th I didn't think it was empty. I mean, I, ha I have a lot of things in here now, but I feel like on my, like through my videos, you could still kind of hear like an echo. 
So I'm trying to do like some soundproofing stuff on the wall and see if that helps. But help me out, guys. Like, does it really sound that horrible? Or was that one person that was saying that I have bad audio just having a bad day and taking it out on my video? I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know. It helps me out. Because I've been breaking my head about that. And I thought it was my microphone, but I don't think it is. So I'm at the point where I'm like just about to soundproof my walls so that the echoes don't bounce back and forth. Um, I do have all the materials, I just haven't really put them up yet. So me and my boyfriend just finished watching Game of Thrones. We were probably the 1% that was not watching it while it was airing live. And my sister like loved that show, so she would not stop talking about it every time it came on. There was days that we wanted to go out and like we would invite her and she's like, no, I can't, it's GLT night and blah, 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 whatever. Well, when the show finished, she said, like, you guys should totally watch it, blah, blah, blah. It's so amazing. And we did, we started watching it maybe a month ago. I think right where it's like ended, we started watching it as soon as it ended maybe. And we flew through it, like eight seasons, I think. We like watched them so fast. And I was disappointed. The ending was horrible. Did you guys watch that show? I don't know what they were thinking. I know they are books. When my boss said that she was reading the first, you know, couple books. And I didn't realize they were books. I just thought they made up the show, right? So I wonder if the author finished the books like that, which that's a horrible way to finish it. Or if the show finished it that way. I don't know how that works. But I was so mad. At the ending and I saw it coming because I, I I told my boyfriend I'm like there is so much to be finished and like a lot of loose ends to be closed and there's only one episode left like how does that so I felt like they were rush rushing everything and it just I, I don't like how it ended at all like at all I I can only imagine what people were thinking when it actually aired live like that last episode I'm sure it pissed a lot of people off it's almost like I wasted all that time watching those stupid episodes which were really good to just have an ending like that. I think that show has like one of the worst endings ever. I think that's what they were saying. It was horrible. I know some people liked it. My sister liked it and she liked how it ended, but I didn't. And now I think we're about to watch Shameless, which is the next show that we, we left off. Um, and we haven't, I don't know what season they're at. I forgot, but whatever we left off, we just, didn't watch it because we got rid of cable and I think now we have YouTube TV, which has been great. Um, if you guys want to know more about YouTube TV, it saved us a lot of money. We were paying like almost $250 for cable for channels that we wouldn't even watch. And so I begged my boyfriend, I'm like, let's cancel it. I promise that you won't miss it. And he finally said, okay, you can cancel it. And I got YouTube TV and he's been loving it. He has all the sports channels, all his like baseball channels. And you can add, like, for example, you can add Showtime stars for, like, certain TV shows that you want to watch and then get rid of it after the TV show is done. So they've actually been really good to us. Like, they gave us a month for free. They, um, when YouTube was down for some reason, like, the, I think that either YouTube or YouTube TV was down. I never really noticed the difference. They gave me a month for free. So this time they gave us Showtime for free until September. So Showtime is where... Um, I think uh, Shameless is on, so that's when we're going to watch Shameless. So that is the next show that we're going to watch. I think it's actually the final season, and I think they're done with that show, which is it's a really good show. I like watching it because they film it in the areas that I grew up in. By the way, this is the Malibu Glitz bronzing powder. I think I got it on Shop Miss A for a dollar. I'll link it down below if it's still available. But that show is filmed in Chicago, so it's a really good show. It has so much drama. Oh my god. If there's any shows that you guys like watching, I don't typically watch Game of Thrones-ish kind of shows. Like, I don't even want to start watching it because I don't like TV shows that have, like, old medieval stuff or, like, sci-fi stuff. I like more real stuff. So if you guys have something like within that realm, like Shameless is totally real, like it could actually happen. All right, so I'm gonna go into this palette right here. These are all actually like ColourPop blushes and bronzers. And I'm just gonna take this blush right here. This one is one of the Kathleen Lights ones that she did. This one is My Sun and Stars. Such a pretty blush. 
it has like a peachy golden shift, which I think is perfect for summer. So I'm gonna use that one. And I never know if it comes up on camera. Sometimes, yeah, you can kind of see it. And this one, like I said, has like a like that golden shift to it. So sometimes I don't really wear highlight when I wear this blush. And this is a really pretty, really pretty, pretty blush. ColourPop has really good blushes. And actually, I just bought this on Amazon because I keep buying the ColourPop ones that don't have the casing on it, like the packaging. So they only ship out the actual pan. And this thing, this Z palette, um, I got it on Amazon. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I'll link it down below. It has a huge mirror, so you can literally pack your favorite shadows, blush, highlight, bronzer when you travel and just take this and you're good to go for as far as powders go. You could even do, like if you have like a MAC powder foundation or something like that, pack it and go. They have different sizes. They have a huge mirror if you guys are really into like mirrors. Uh, palettes that have mirrors so it's a really good one it's by the brand all one but i'll link it down below for you guys so you guys can check it out because it's a really good palette to have um i'm going to show you guys what i did yesterday with my eyelashes my eyelashes are so straight if i don't curl them you won't even know i have long eyelashes but i have to curl them so that you can see them that's why i'm picky with my eye with my mascara sometimes because if a mascara weighs them down and brings them down then i don't care if they're full and voluminous if they're just blocked like if they're just drooping down so a mascara has to be able to hold my straight ass eyelashes up after i curl them because even though i curl them sometimes as soon as i put mascara they just like blah, they go down yesterday i did this combo right here this is their like waterproof both of them are waterproof so if you guys don't like waterproof i don't know if you guys will like this one but this is the covergirl exhibitionist and then this is the Essence Lash Princess in Waterproof, which is fairly new because they didn't have that before. I tried them both together. This one first, because this one's a little thinner of a formula. And then this one on top to so thicken them a little bit more. Oh my God. So this is a Lash Princess. And this is the CoverGirl Mascara. I think it's this one that like really amps them up. But you know what? I've used this mascara on its own and it's not like this. So I think both of them kind of work off of each other and it's just like it really makes them pop. Let's do some eyebrow filling because my eyebrows have definitely been fading from the microblading and I definitely need to fill them in or like do like a color boost or something but i don't know if i'm ready yet uh, but even then right now like the filling in part of my brows it doesn't really take me too much because there's really not much to fill in like i did the bottom right there and it already looks like a little bit more defined and usually i just do the bottom of the eyebrow and it looks a, like a thousand times better all right, I think that's as good as it's going to get. And I think that is it. My hair is wild today, but I purposely wanted it to be wild. I have like bone straight hair, so I always curl it. And I use like this like curling iron that's maybe like one inch like thick. So it's not too big, not too small, kind of like in the middle. And I kind of just like, you know, go at it. I'm letting my hair grow out, like the color grow out. So... All of this is my natural hair color. And then like the very bottom, maybe like four inches worth of it is like old highlights. So once everything grows out, I think I'm going to go back light. But I want the in-between hair to be my natural hair color. So it's just kind of adding dimension to my natural hair color. Please let me know the shows that you guys watch because I want to know what show I should watch next. Because when there's nothing to watch on TV, I feel like I there's nothing to look forward to at night and it's usually at night when we watch tv shows so put those down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for hanging out with me i'll see you guys soon bye